on at withinverdy.com. In today's video, I wanted to showcase just some of my favorite features of our Easy Stitch floor stand. First is that I can position my scroll frame in exactly the place I need it. With so many different placement options on the arms and elbows, along with the legs, I can position the scroll frame right in front of me. I can position it lower, higher, however I need it to. As many of you know, I have some back and neck issues. And with this feature, it has helped me so much. I simply place some pillows under each arm for support. I can place my scroll frame right in front of me so I'm no longer looking down, I'm looking forward, and there's no neck strain. So I'm very, very comfortable um, sitting while I'm stitching. My next favorite feature would have to be all the double knobs. The only part of the floor stand that you need a screwdriver for is when you attach the feet and the ankles to the legs. Everything else is attached with double knobs. My favorite double knobs is when flipping the scroll frame um, over to get to the back. All you have to do is loosen both knobs, flip it over, start or stop your thread, and then flip it back and secure it back down. And once tightened back down, my scroll frame stays exactly where I want it to. I stitch with both hands and I want my stand to be able to support the weight of my arm while I'm stitching and not have to lose tension. With the double knobs, I get this counter pressure to each other and it gives me a tighter hold. Now, of course, one of my biggest tips is that you need to make sure you loosen the knobs before you flip your scroll frame over. If you flip it over while they are tightened down, you could strip out the insert that's inside the wooden knob. So just make sure you loosen them, flip it over, start or stop your thread, flip it back and tighten them back down. Next, of course, is how adjustable the floor stand is. This year, we changed the placement holes on the crossbars to every two inches. So this gives the ability to now use 26 and 28 inch scroll rods. So that means you've got the option now of seven different scroll rod sizes. Going from 24, 26, 28, 30, 36, 42, and 48 inches that can all be used with our Easy Stitch floor stand. Another new feature this year was that we added the second placement option of the top crossbars. We found that for some, the top crossbars were right in the way of their TV. So by lowering the crossbars to the middle of the leg, you get the same stability, but now you can see your TV uninterrupted. I stitch on both a couch and a recliner, but with all the different placement options of the feet, I can bring my floor stand right up to me. There's the standard and switch position, that is where the leg is positioned in the middle hole of the foot. And then you can have the ankle either going forward or backwards. You would use the back position if you had a lot of space under your couch. This is where the leg would be attached at hole three and the ankle would come forward and be attached at hole two. The forward position would be for a recliner. You'd position the leg in hole one on the foot and the ankle would be positioned on hole two. So with all these different placement options, you can bring the floor stand right up to you. Also, I've had several people ask if you can use the floor stand with your feet up on the recliner. And the answer is yes. As you can see in this picture, my recliner is one of those recliners and a half, so it's pretty wide. But the scroll rods I'm using are 42 inches which fit perfectly for my recliner. So depending on how wide your recliner is will depend on which scroll rods you'll need to use in order to put your feet up while stitching. These are just a few of my favorite features of our Easy Stitch floor stand. To see all of the features, check out my product demo video. 
um, in my easy stitch blog on embroidery.com. Be sure to check out all the other videos I have, like what size scroll rod should I use for my project, or how to attach the tape for fabric to my fabric. Okay, well that's it for today. Make sure you have your notifications turned on as that's how you'll know a new video is up. And as always, I'd love to hear your comments and suggestions, so leave those for me below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Happy stitching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.